What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on? It's your boy, Jason. Welcome to another segment of Mill City Boxing, home of the high-level pro boxing media. Canelo Alvarez, John Ryder. Yesterday. If you like high-level chess matches, yesterday's fight wasn't for you. If you like Gotti and Ward situations, yesterday's fight was for you. Um, Let's talk about the fight. You know, we got John Ryder, Canelo Alvarez, first half of the fight. You know how Canelo Alvarez does. Slow starter, but knocks him down in the fifth. Smells blood, tries to get him out of there. Shout out to uh, John Ryder, by the way. I mean, a guy that really is tough, tough, tough as nails, man. Showed a lot of heart and grit, but at the end of the day, didn't have enough to, to bring it to Canelo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Canelo wins by a uh, 12-round unanimous decision in his hometown. Um, he almost gets some, Canelo almost gets him out of there in the 8th and the ninth. You know, Canelo didn't show that he got hurt whatsoever. Canelo Alvarez does got that that pit bull neck, man. He got a chin and a half. Um, they both took punishment. Phone booth, no mas type of a fight. Um, put on for Mexico. Mexico loves those type of fights. Now what's next? I mean, first of all, if we go even go into it, a lot of people say that, you know, Canelo Alvarez has one foot in and one foot out. I mean, look at John Ryder, right? He lost to three of the fighters that Canelo Alvarez beat. I'll name them for you. Callum Smith, Billy Joe Saunders, and Rocky Fielding. He also got knocked out one time. Um, so he got his opportunity. Beat Daniel Jacobs. Beat Parker. Becomes Canelo Alvarez's mandatory. Do I believe that should have happened? Hey, shout out to Hattie Hearn, man. He's the one that put it on. But... You know, what's next for Canelo Alvarez? I mean, he says rematch with Bivol. Bivol says, let's do it at 68. My man goes and says, nope, 75, which comes to me that tells me that he wants to become a two-time undisputed champion, which is great because he's still seeking for legacy at the age that he's at now. So when we talk about one foot in, one foot out, we can't really say that because even Floyd Mayweather accomplished what he accomplished. Yeah, fought some undefeated fighters, but not necessarily guys that people really wanted to see. I mean, did you guys want to see an Andre Berto fight? I mean, that's up to you. You tell me. I mean, but if we nevertheless, it doesn't happen at 68, say he beats Bevo, which I don't think he could beat Bevo. I'm not going to lie. Bevo is a technician at 175 pounds. He is the man. Say it becomes a close fight, draw whatsoever. I don't know. Does he fight David Benavides and pass the torch to another fellow Mexican if he loses? Or does he hate like Chavez and doesn't want to give the credibility of another Mexican fighter? So what are we going to do here? Who is the face of boxing as well? You know, we have Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia hit 1.2, 1.4 pay-per-view buys. Fifth in the Las Vegas gate. I mean, when we talk about the face of Boston, we got to talk about it all, man. We got to talk about the popularity, the growth, the whole nine. You know, when you when we talk about the youth, you're screaming Javante Davis. When we talk about the hip hop community, we're talking about Javante Davis. When Javante Davis fights, we're talking about the girls come out, the BBLs pop out, the Rolex come in, the chains come out, the whole nine. It's a whole different level. It's like a Floyd Mayweather ever. But Canelo Alvarez got that same vibe as well in the Mexican the Mexican, you know, community values him as the GOAT. Um, so what's next? I, I believe that when we see these fighters in the next couple fights, we could determine really who is the face of boxing. Um, we're not getting the Terrence Crawford and, and Bud. I mean, the, the Terrence Crawford and Spence fight. That could have been the face of boxing. You know, if we get, you know, if the 135 division clears up, that's the face of boxing. Um, if Canelo Alvarez beats Demetrius Bevo and then goes back and beats David Benavidez, he's definitely back. He's definitely back on, on the map again. Um, but guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's let's talk. Let's let's communicate. I do write back. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Helps my channel grow. This is Mill City Boxes.